Real Madrid's latest friendly in Albania is another example of the attraction the white side have on the football world on an international level. The trips across the globe that they have made already in the 2009-2010 season have been proof enough that there are Madridistas in all four corners of the planet. The early stages of the campaign kicked off with Real Madrid's first ever pre-season in Ireland. The players were welcomed by the locals with open arms and for the 10 days that they were there, the fans turned out in force at the training ground each day to support their heroes. Real Madrid's next stop in the summer would involve them crossing continents to play in North America. Fans in Toronto and Canada, as well as the American capital, Washington DC, were delighted to see their idols closer than they had ever thought possible. The BMO field and the FedEx field were fit to burst as fans decked out the stadiums to catch the first glimpse of the new look star-studded Real Madrid side in action for the first time. Once that tour ended, the team then made their way to Germany. When a football club celebrates their centenary, they want to do it in style to mark an unforgettable milestone. This is exactly why Borussia Dortmund chose Real Madrid as their rivals for their 100th birthday party. And of course, back on home soil, Real Madrid are one of Spain's most recognisable institutions and just as high on the guest wish list for Spanish clubs celebrating their centenaries. Real Sociedad's fans threw a party to be proud of for their 100-year celebration as Real Madrid played the last of their pre-season friendlies ahead of the new campaign. And it was on Spanish soil that the 2009 edition of the Peace Cup was held, the first time it had been played outside of Korea since its inauguration. The prestigious tournament is considered to be the Champions League of the pre-season, with some of football's biggest heavyweights invited to dispute the cup that promotes peace. It's no surprise then that in this edition, Real Madrid were among the contenders, and as one of the world's most famous stadiums, the Santiago Bernabeu was one of the chosen locations to host the important competition. With a fan base that spans the planet, Real Madrid truly are the biggest club in the world.